first dog of the day. First dog of the day. We'll try and pet it. Alongside the infamous wooden roller coaster cyclone and just below the Wonder Wheel is where you'll find Spookarama. Spookarama, built in 1955, was originally one of the longest dark rides with a ride time of 10 minutes, half of it being outdoors, no intermissions. It's since then been renovated from its original form with a current runtime of just about three minutes. The tube-like wooden barrel carts remain the same, thus the sideways entry and forced impaired vision is spooky enough. You can ride this for an eco-friendly $8. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, every ride in the park costs just about $8. is what is known as a 7D dark ride, where you sit in a moving theater with laser guns and 3D glasses and defend yourself from savage zombies in a post-apocalyptic city. So basically rush hour in New York. After a bottle of wine and like half a beer in, we have concluded our day here in Coney Island slash Luna Park. Spookarama, let's start there. This was a ride that was so lame over 10 years ago when I got on it. You know, it's one of those rides that my grandmother made me get on. And now, completely updated. They got like wind blowing in your face and like weird holographics and like videotrons all over it. I mean, I was expecting it to be like a solid 30 seconds in and out. It was like, what, three minutes long? They have changed it completely, and I highly recommend that you get in on that. It's, it's, it's so different than what I remember. So I'm gonna give it like three out of five pumpkins. It has a warm, warm place in my heart. So I get out of Spookarama, and across the way, the spherical zombie mouth. Who would not go in there? Stop the zombies, all right? I go in, the attendee tells me, what would you rather do? Stop the zombies or monsters in Manhattan? I said straight up, I was like, well, what, which one's better? I don't know. Monsters in Manhattan. You're sitting down in a 50 seat audience. Your chair is moving. You're strapped in. You got 3D goggles on. It's a spherical, like, Green. This is like high quality stuff. All right, we're in Coney Island in Brooklyn, in the road, and they have like this, like, there was some money put into this. I have to tell you that. It's a lot like Cloverfield. There's a giant monster walking through the street of Manhattan. It's like spitting babies out at you, and you gotta shoot all of them. By the way, I was like third of the day. I'm a great first person shooter. I'll just put it there. It was a lot of fun. And for that, I highly recommend you come and see it. Five out of five. I had no idea it would be that fun. I feel like at one point, he actually did hit his chest. But you can see like he has like stuffs on his like movies. But it's not, it's stubby, it's been years. It's not working anymore. It's not happening anymore. Thank you for joining us here at Haunted Hangover. We had a few laughs, we had a few screams, we had a few drinks. 
But please remember that the best cure to a hangover is more booze.